Hey, this is Tony. So this weekend's project is kind of an important one. I have to get the meter base mounted here on the side of the barn, get it tied into the breaker box inside the house so that we can get this inspected and they will release having them connect the permanent power to the side of the barn. So this is our meter, our meter base. Now it is quite large, but right here is where the meter goes. This one has an outside disconnect where you'll have to be able to turn your power on and off from outside. Also, the fire department can do that, but we have to do it because our breaker panel inside the barn is farther than 10 feet from the meter. So we have to put the primary disconnect outside. The other breaker box turns into the secondary. Um, we had a, I had some issues when I installed this pipe before we poured the concrete. I put it in so that we wouldn't have to bust the concrete when we brought the power in. What they didn't tell me was this had to be a Schedule 80 pipe, and it's only a Schedule 40. So I have to cut it off here at the ground and attach it right there, just right there at the ground. And I got me a piece of Schedule 80, and I'll run a piece of Schedule 80 pipe out of there. But then when we get that on tomorrow, I've already put my fitting there on, the, on it. It's a PVC fitting that screws onto the bottom of the panel. I used my knockout. I, I made a knockout, and when it goes into tomorrow morning it will go just like that hey that looks pretty nice ain't she pretty yeah i hope so because cutting holes in the barn is very uh nerve-wracking <laughs> you're always cutting hose and stuff that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> everywhere you cut a hole in this barn it's a place for water to get in it just drives me nuts but seal them up right won't have a problem so right now i'm just kind of getting some parts ready and tomorrow I'll put the correct pipe on and uh, we'll get this mounted and we'll be drilling our holes inside so that we can uh, run our wire through. And it's a big wire, it's a big wire. So stay tuned tomorrow for that. Timber. Pulling the shrapnel over. Yeah, that one almost hit me.
All right, so this is what we've got going so far this morning. I went ahead and cut off my pipe with my new Schedule 80 vertical riser. Got it uh, glued on. Got the ca uh, got the uh, threaded coupling on it. This is what will attach to the bottom of the meter box. This threaded fitting is what is going to connect to the back of my box. This is where my wire is going to go in and go into the house and connect to the panel once we're out of there. I still got to put uh, my uh, uh, some uh, weather flashing in there, weather stripping, and there's some caulker or something of that sort. Um, I have some electrical uh, flashing that I'll probably put in that to seal it up. And let's go look at the inside. All right, this is my connection on the inside. Uh, as you can see, it comes in and we're turned straight up. And I'm gonna go straight up and we're gonna go into the rafters and then we're gonna go across here some way to get over. And we're gonna drop it down into the top of my electrical panel up here. I already got the electrical uh, sealant. This is a, I don't know, it's kind of a gooey, very thick gooey tape. Uh, I've used it in other videos for uh, the camper. Uh, it's a good weather sealant. Uh, you can also run across it with some, uh, uh, with a caulking also. Uh, and I might do that here uh, before it's over and done. But uh, she's there, ready to go. All right, so this is the outside fitting. I went ahead and used some tape and I masked it off around it just so that uh, just so that whenever I get caulk on it, it doesn't uh, just slop everywhere. You know, I can put it on heavily and then uh, and then uh, pull the tape off and it'll have a, a, a decent look to it. It's behind the electrical box, so you can't see it in the first place. I did put my electrical tape on the inside because behind it, all, all there is is this thin tin. So there's really nothing behind this and I can't get to the behind it to caulk it. So I put that tape behind it, push this through and uh, that'll give me something to push the caulk against. So I'm gonna caulk her up, caulk her heavy and clean her up. Be behind the electrical panel so you'll never see it but we also just got to make sure that she's waterproof Plug. <laughs> one hole, or should I say one board? Oh, yeah, it did go through the first hole. Little hockey pucks. Yeah, it gets a little warm. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna bend. I'll tell you what, you want the fight of your life. You just had it. Try to feed that thick four four wire power cable through those holes. Those corners right there are just a nightmare. And then that corner there. But she's in there. And done. <laughs> Alright, so we brought the wires, we got the wires pulled through. Got one over there, one there. We got uh, the neutral and we got the ground. So this meter is done. Let's go look at the inside. 
All right, we've got the same thing in here. Brought all of our wires in and we've got one, uh, we got our two hots. We got our neutral coming over to the neutral bar, which also feeds across there on that bar and comes down this neutral. Because this is a sub panel, we had to put a separate ground bar. So we got that installed. We've got our, our core ground and I've already got one line connected. Got it running to one 20 amp breaker. Got my neutral going to my neutral bar and it's going down. It is clamped, which is code that you have to have a clamp on it. And that is feeding that socket right there, which is a GF, a 20 uh, amp GFI. And according to the inspector, that's what I need in order for them to release it, to have the power turned on to the house. So uh, Tuesday, I'll have the inspector come out and <laughs> we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see what he's got to say about it. All right, another smoking hot day out here. I've got some things I need to get done because I need to get the inspector out here. We're trying to get this uh, meter on the side of the house connected to the power panel so that we can get it inspected. Then the electric company will come out. They will put their actual meter on it. There she blows right there. They'll put their meter on it and we'll have electricity in the garage. Then I can hook up, say, the RV and some other stuff inside. So, uh... Uh, me and my brother got a here and we started digging. Uh, last thing I've got to put on is the ground wire. Specifications on ground wire in this county is you must have two eight foot ground wires drove into the ground below grade. So they'll have to be below the soil, soil line. He didn't specify how far. Mine's probably gonna end up being about six inches by the time I do finish grading and all that. I'm gonna leave it exposed for him. But uh, this is kind of what it's looking like. All right, so there is ground number one. As you can tell, it's about a foot and a half off the sidewalk. So that's the first ground wire there. I've got the green ground cable already buckled to it and connected using the specified clamps. Now I put it inside this piece of PVC here. That was not by code, but if somebody was to come outside and start digging down, I would rather them to dig down and hit that piece of PVC rather than to hit the cable. So that's all that is. I'm just trying to protect that cable in the future. You, you never know when you're going to come out and just stink and forget what you were doing or what was there and, and, and so, so forth. So uh, there is cable number two or ground number two also with the connector. Now, one of the specifications on that grounding, when you connect the second one, you cannot cut the wire. You literally, you have to splice off the sheathing keep it intact, connect it, and continue on. So I'm glad that the electrician let me know that because I would have missed that. So then we ran it down. Now I have pipes that I earlier had buried in the ground that go into the garage and come up in the utility room. So I took it and I put it in one of the caps. I ran it through the cap. I drilled a hole in the cap, put a bunch of caulking in there, and then slid it through there. All right, now it's some serious kind of dark in here because we put the ceiling in and we draw all it all up and can't see. But as you can tell, I've got the ground coming up through the pipe number one there. I'm going to continue that piping up and I'm going to run it through conduit and I'm going to run it over underneath the conduit right there, is that, which is the one that holds the uh, line that came from the meter itself. So I'm going to put it in conduit in this room but where it goes through the wall and then where it goes outside, it does not have to be in conduit. So I'm just gonna have it bare and open. I'll use a cable clamp and I'll clamp it to the housing outside. All right, so here's what I got done. I've attached the gray PVC up around to put it into that big junction box there. You can see the gray wire going, uh, the green wire going out right there. I'll put that cap on here soon. And then we'll go outside. And so here we are at the meter box outside. I came through a piece of three quarter inch conduit, which I will caulk that up so water can't water and insects can't go in. I have a uh, squeezing grip clamp there, which is bolted down on the inside. 
holds that wire snug, routed it up, and tightened her in right there at the uh, ground bar. So there she is. Going to take a picture of it here as soon as I get all the doors on it, and I am done. We are going to call the inspector and see see what he has to say about my work. So uh, see you then. Mm -hmm.